Hey guys, I am going to try to vlog for you guys today. I'm going to run some errands. I'm probably going to eat out. I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. So I thought might as well get a vlog in. It is a rainy day. This is my rainy day outfit. I've got some Yeezys on, skim socks. This is a gray sweatsuit from Aloe that's super comfy and I just I love it. Um, I will link it down in the description because it's just like, I don't know, I just love it. Oh, this is like, this is a Skims tea. And yeah, so I want to go get some macro-friendly, easy meals from Trader Joe's. So I'll take you guys along with me. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go try on some walking shoes also. So yeah, we'll see what I get into. We're going with Hubby, so you guys will... Uh, get to see heavy on the vlog today so let's actually it. since it's rainy I decided to throw on my wonder puff so that I have a hood but we're still comfy we're still cozy and we're heading out all right so we are running some errands um, we're gonna head to runner's world I think it's called runner's world or road runner to try on some shoes. I want some like good walking shoes um, that are really cushiony, but I bought some Hoka's and they sent me wide ones. They look like clown shoes. Oh my gosh, I kid you not. So instead of just keep exchanging and doing the online thing, I wanted to go in there and try them on. I wanna try either the New Balance Fresh Foams or the Hoka's. So we'll see if they have that. And I want to um, Mike to try some too. So I want to get him a pair for his birthday. Right now we're getting dog food. So Mike's actually in the pet store. We just checked the weather. It's going to be thunder and lightning two hours from now. But we'll probably still be out and about because we're going to do, we're going to go eat. So I'll show you guys what I eat. I'm still in a calorie deficit. I'm, this is now two weeks in. I feel really good. Honestly, it has not been difficult at all. And, um, what I do typically when I eat out and I'm on a deficit, because today's still a low calorie day, I combine the calories from lunch and dinner. So it's the same thing I did on the last vlog. So um, I'll pop up on the screen what that looks like in my app so that I can see how many calories I have to work with. Typically, like, you know, it'll leave me with like 800 calories or so, two meals worth, which is pretty good. Um, that's about it. So I'm not sure if we're either going to go to Mediterranean or Mexican. Um, probably Mexican though. I think I want Mediterranean tomorrow. So tomorrow is Saturday and that's my high calorie day. So on Saturday I eat about 2100, um, 2200, somewhere around there. Kind of like a range. And like during the week, just to give you an idea for the most part, I'm around 1,500 calories, um, maybe a 1,400 calorie day, maybe a 1,600 calorie day, somewhere from 14 to 1,600, and then on Saturday, somewhere around 2,000. So just to give you guys like an idea, it's so funny because when I post like a full day of eating at 1,400 calories, someone will go, oh my God, 1,400 calories, that's not enough. You know, you guys don't listen to people when they speak nonsense. First of all, how would somebody know by me posting my full day of eating that that's enough for me? Do they know my height? Do they know my body composition? Do they know my movement? No, but they automatically assume that that's starving. The problem with that we have is we feel that we should be eating a lot more than our body really needs. And that's the problem because then our body works too hard and then it shuts down. doesn't work properly when you stuff it, right? Anyways, I'll end my rant. So we went to this place called Roadrunner Sports where they actually measure your feet with 3D technology and they analyze your feet and what they do while you're on a treadmill. So it was a really cool experience to get that kind of data and then based on the information they retrieve, they bring out a ton of different shoes that would really enhance your running or walking experience, which is what they did for us. Here you'll see Mike is getting his analysis of him running on the treadmill 
and then they let you try the shoes even on the treadmill which is really cool so overall i would say it was a pretty good experience um as you can see mike was really getting into testing out his shoes but um i was really happy with what i ended up Why with is it black and white? Oh. well that was a very expensive trip <laughs> <laughs> a very expensive trip in Roadrunner. I'm glad we ended up getting the other guy though, because the first guy, I, I was really irritated with him. Shoes. He's trying to put me in clown shoes. Yeah. Okay, so the, you guys, this is a place where you get like sized. It's totally pouring. You get sized for your shoes and like they custom fit you. They put you on a treadmill. Then they bring out all these shoes. It's crazy because at no time do they ask you like what color you want or like what stylish. It's kind of interesting. They just bring out the shoes that are best fit your feet, not what you really want. Um, but I did end up getting what I want. I got the Bondi or the Bondi 8s and the Hoka's. What did you end up getting? Asics. Asics. But we also got these custom molded inserts, which actually felt really good. Yeah. So if I hadn't have liked it, I would tell them to take it and shove it. When they rung it up, it was $100. It was almost the cost of the shoe. I know. But it's, it's actually a returnable if you don't like it. But I actually liked it. So anyways, because I have high arches, so it actually helps me a lot. But happy birthday. <laughs> you got happy some birthday. shoes and socks, socks. for your birthday. Because, yeah, that was a birthday gift for him. Anyways, we're going to go run a couple more errands. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're at our new favorite restaurant. Your favorite restaurant. It's my favorite. Cheers. It's my favorite. It's good. Cheers. Very good. The drink's good. Thank you, bro. Very good. Candidly with margaritas tonight. Yes. This is so good, oh my god. Let me show you all my money. All right, so we are back home and I'm going to show you guys what I ended up getting. First of all, these socks that are like really thick, really nice. Anyways, let's open this up. These are what I went with, with my super fancy custom insoles that were $100, but yeah, I like them. You know, they're not the cutest shoe, but very comfortable. So these are the Bondi 8s, and I am in pajamas already because God knows it's Friday night, and you know I turn up on Friday nights. Um, okay, funny story. I went to Target to get another pair of pajamas, which I think I did that in the vlog. But anyways, I grabbed these thinking they were just like my other ones, but they're capris. But don't they look ridiculous? I think they look ridiculous. Anyways, they'll have to do. Um, these are the Stars Above ones by Target. They're still really comfortable. I just don't think I like the capris. Anyways... I'm going to end this vlog for the night, but I will pick it back up before I end it, end it, because I didn't get to Trader Joe's, and I want to show you guys my Trader Joe's haul for the week, so. So you see it's been running like a waterfall, thought the stars were you keep on thinking you could save yourself but that's love that's just love all right you so i steered clear of getting the typical stuff because i wanted to try different things but things that were easy mostly frozen and things that i can combine so i'm gonna do i got like some raviolis with pasta sauce um that i will add like ground turkey to then I got like um, wontons and pot stickers and I got like some vegetable stir fries and rice 
that, and then I will do like add egg whites to the rice for added protein, like a protein fried, uh, protein fried rice. Um, so I got, you know, some different kind of things. So I'll show you guys when I get home, I am going to go to Target to pick up some chicken and ground turkey and just maybe like a couple of other things. Um, and then I think, see the problem is when I get stuff like this is I forget what I got and like what my intention was for it. A lot of times then it gets like lost in my freezer. So I'm gonna try to like prepare in advance some things, um, kind of meal prep somewhat. So we'll see, we'll see what I do. But um, I have had the wontons and the pot stickers before, but I did get like new things to add with it. Um, and then the, the challenge is always getting that protein up. So I do that by adding additional chicken or ground turkey to whatever it is I make, as well as egg whites. A lot of times is a really easy way, especially with like Asian style food, because you can add your egg whites to rice and then bump up the protein content significantly. So that's what I plan on doing. Um, I will show you guys specifically what I got when I get home. All right, let's take a look at this little Trader Joe's haul here. I got these egg bites. I wanted just convenience foods this time. So I thought those would be a good option. I got these wontons that are really good. The problem is just getting in enough protein. So I have to get creative with like adding egg whites to the rice to increase the protein content. But like to go with that to make like a little Asian style bowl, I was thinking this vegetable stir fry with some wontons and coconut aminos. And then I also got the chicken gyoza pot stickers and then I got this to go with that garlicky cabbage and then I would also add egg whites to this mixture to increase the protein content same thing with this so this is kind of like my Asian flair options and then I also got these spinach and ricotta filled raviolis that I was going to have with some marinara sauce, but also add some ground turkey. So this I got at Target. So I'm gonna add ground turkey to the marinara sauce for added protein. So I got that. I also got another Mediterranean salad kit because a falafel salad is always a good idea. I got this um, shredded Parmesan, and this I actually got at Target which is chicken mozzarella tortellinis, and the macros on it were pretty good. And this is all stuff that won't go bad, it's like I just put it in the freezer. I also got this to try at Target as a little convenience meal from Real Good Foods. This is some Harvest Chili. I actually got this also thinking I would add some ground turkey to it to fortify it with some additional protein. But also I was thinking about putting this over some fries to have like a chili cheese fries. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away. So I'm gonna go ahead and make kind of meal prep, so I'm gonna do, I made half the bag, so I'm gonna do two servings of this vegetable stir fry, and I am going to do four pieces of these is 50 calories meal. So, um, let's see, I think they're pretty small. I think I'll do 12 pieces for each meal. Yeah, they're pretty tiny. So I'm going to air fry these. They taste so good air fried. All right, so here it is. Um, I will put the macros up on the screen, but here is my meal that I'm going to eat now. And then this is for tomorrow. So I've got that meal out of the way. It looks 
super yummy. I'm just gonna top it with some coconut aminos. All right, you guys, I have to end this vlog because I'm all over the place, honestly, I'm all over the place. But I did want to end and show you guys those egg bites again from Trader Joe's that I got in the haul. And I would give them a like 9.5 out of 10. So good. I would definitely get them again. I just had them and um, it was just really delicious. I paired them with some rice cakes, which I'll pop up right here. Almond butter, blueberries, honey. Such a great combo. Um, great post-workout and I just loved it. So definitely look for those at Trader Joe's because I'm picky about egg bites. I've tried the ones at Costco, don't like them. They're dry. These still had that, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that sous vu, like, uh, like delicate, fluffy texture that the Starbucks ones have, and I really liked them. So I would definitely buy them again. I'm actually bummed I only got two packets. Now I need to go back to Trader Joe's. Um, but anyways, finishing out this vlog, so hopefully you got something out of it, some Trader Joe's ideas, you know, some shoes ideas, whatever it may be, and make sure you are tuning in because later in the week I will post a full day of eating Trader Joe's convenience meals and just kind of like show the meals to give you guys some Trader Joe's calorie deficit meal ideas. So if you're not already following my channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that, and I'll see you guys on the next video.